Hey everyone, it's Avi here with another episode of Smart Tips. Today we're going to talk about how you can bulk update record data from a grid view. This means you can bulk update statuses, single select, multi select assignees by just multi selecting a bunch of records from the grid view, updating one of the records, and the change applies to all records. Let's take a look how. So, from within a grid view, if you want to bulk update a bunch of different records, Maybe you want to change the status to a whole bunch of records at once, or you want to update the single select or multi-select. Simply multi-select a few records, or better yet, select if you wanted to select the whole view, right? So you can set up a view that filters by a certain parameter and then just select the entire view. And what, over here, what I'm going to show, I'm just going to select about five records. And then they all have different types of statuses right now, but if I update the status for one of them, Let's say I put the, a one, the first one in ready to review. What happens is all five become ready to review, and then I can simply uncheck those, um, those records, and we have a bulk update. Same concept over here. I'm going to go ahead and select a bunch more records. So I multi-select them down here. You can use the print, export, or delete function to delete all these records that were multi-selected, or you can come up over here change one of the multi-select or single select let's change this to right now all of them are a new feature we're going to change this to um, usability enhancements and the moment i select usability enhancements they all um, actually disappeared from my view because we're filtering this view or sorting this view by new feature but they all came down here to the bottom Usability enhancements, as you can tell, all four of them are selected and they all four of them changed. So basically when you multi-select and then you change a status, a single select or a multi-select, when you do that, it actually may, applies the same change to all four or to all of the records that you multi-selected. And then you can simply X out and your multi-select is done and you can move on, right? So I'm going to do that one more time. We're going to select three records. We're going to add a single selector authorization. And as you can tell, all three of them just got authorization and then I'm gonna X out and none of them are selected anymore.